Uh, I'm Mimi Ito, and I'm a cultural anthropologist, and I work with uh, the UC Humanities Research Institute, the Department of Anthropology, Informatics, as well as education, so I cross a lot of uh, different parts of the university. I run a research hub funded by the MacArthur Foundation called the Digital Media and Learning Hub where we look at how new technologies like video games and the internet uh, can help young people learn better. I'm an anthropologist and I study the very exotic and mysterious culture of teenagers on the internet. And I think the most important findings and significance of my work are probably not a big surprise to uh, many, if not most, of the undergraduates on the UCI campus, which is that the kinds of things that young people are doing for fun with technology, like playing video games and sharing things on social media and messing around and looking for things online can actually be a huge source and motivation for learning, uh, the kind of interest-driven learning that is often most powerful uh, if we can find the right way to support it. And often it's really important, and my job as an anthropologist is to talk to teachers and parents and other adults about how it's important for us to connect with this learning that young people are doing on their own in order to really get the benefit. A big part of my work is actually about not only doing research and building theory and doing field work, but also trying to work with educators and uh, technology makers and other people in the world outside of the university uh, to make that research relevant and also learn from the kinds of things that uh, people discover by trying to make a difference in the world. Uh, for example, we work with a whole network of library, museum, and school partners to try to take what we've learned in our research on what young people do with technology and make it relevant uh, and uh, make it a way of informing the kinds of practices that teachers and other educators are engaged in in their everyday lives. Another really important finding from our research is the fact that young people use technology differently and these have important implications for whether they're really getting the learning benefit from technology. Uh, so we find that some young people who are really digitally active, who have passionate interests, who are civically engaged are going online to kind of superpower their learning with new technology and social media and online communities and games. Uh, most young people probably aren't doing that and the thing that we found in our research that was most important was the fact that there was a real gap between young people who were making full advantage of the digital world to get ahead in life and learn in amazingly activated ways and young people who weren't and a lot of that difference had to do with the home environments uh, the kind of socioeconomic conditions that young people were facing and so we think it's really really important that it's not just the high-tech and digitally savvy kids who are getting the benefits of this new kind of technology and internet life but really that it's all young people and our agenda in working with public schools and libraries is really to try to reach uh, young people where they are and diverse young people in all walks of life.